Ever wish diseases could be cured by replacing a mutated gene with a healthy one? Well, now this is possible. Although the process is long, it can be explained pretty simply. A healthy gene is inserted into the genome to replace the abnormal disease-causing gene. It can be used to help with the effects of different types of cancer. It is also said to be used as a pharmaceutical agent for the same purposes. Cancer patients have been using these kind of treatments for years. There are many different kinds of treatment available, such as... Retroviruses. Which can create two stranded copies of RNA genomes. A very common retrovirus is HIV. Scientists have actually discovered how to use retroviruses against HIV by infecting the already infected T-cells. Adenoviruses. Two-stranded genomes that cause respirator, intestinal, and eye infections. However, these adenoviruses, when used in gene therapy, can be beneficial. An adenovirus can have a vector or gene bonded to its cell membrane and be inserted into a cell, which will then use that gene to create proteins to fight the disease or virus. Adeno-associated viruses. Which are small and one-stranded. They can insert their material at specific sites on chromosome 19. Recently, these adeno-associated viruses have been used to treat blindness or any problems on the human retina. And herpes simplex viruses. A class of two-stranded viruses that infect a particular cell type. These herpes simplex viruses are injected into a patient with a specific target and can destroy a virus or disease very specifically and remain inside of the patient's body to fight it again should it reoccur. Some recent steps forward in this field are very big. In March of 2009, the School of Pharmacy in London was testing a treatment in mice, which delivers genes wrapped in nanoparticles to cancer cells to target and destroy hard-to-reach cancer cells. These treatments have gotten to the intensity of the world's first clinical trial to test a revolutionary gene therapy treatment for the type of inherited blindness. The results, published today in the New England Journal of Medicine, show that the experimental treatment is safe and can improve sight. And during the test of these procedures on mice, a combination of two tumor-suppressing genes delivered in lipid-based nanoparticles, which drastically reduced the number and size of human lung cancer tumors in mice. People have long tried to discover a way to get rid of nicotine addiction. Patches never seem to work, and so a scientist decided to use a form of gene therapy. He bonded an adeno-associated virus with a nicotine-fighting agent and injected it into a mouse, and following this, injected the mouse with two cigarettes worth of nicotine and 83% of this nicotine was binded and destroyed by the antibodies before it reached the brain. In August of 2011, researchers unveiled results of a trial. In this trial, 16 children in the UK had severe combined immunodeficiency, which means that their bodies are unable to fight off infection. 14 of these children had their genes cured and now are successfully lead leading normal lives.